If your feet are slipping and sliding around on your pedals, you're not gonna have a lot of confidence in your riding and you're definitely not gonna be in control. And it's quite common for riders to swap their pedals out to some aftermarket options, be that to upgrade them or possibly swap from clip to a flat pedal or maybe just do a bit of maintenance. But it's not all straightforward when it comes to fitting and removing your pedals. But today, I'll be showing you how. Now, before we take these pedals off, let's take a quick look at the types of pedals that you can use on your e-mountain bike. First up is gonna be the flat pedal. Now, this is a go-to pedal for lots of different riders out there. They're great for beginners or even professionals. The great thing about a flat pedal is that you can take a dab onto the ground in a split second if things were to go wrong, or you can commit to technical terrain a little bit more that you can ride this in any footwear too. You don't need a cycling specific shoe to match your pedal. And the great thing about using flats on an e-mountain bike is that that motor can make up for that inefficiency that you might possibly use when comparing a flat to a clip pedal. And the other option is a clipless pedal. Now a clipless pedal requires a specialist shoe with a cleat in the middle of it, which engages into this clip, hence the name of clipless. Now clipless pedals are super efficient. They're really powerful and they can really aid the acceleration from a standstill on your e-mountain bike. Some riders love them, some riders hate them. You need to choose which one suits you. Now one mistake that catches a lot of riders out when it comes to swapping pedals on their bike is to fit the wrong pedal into the wrong side crank. Say for instance, you're trying to fit that left hand pedal into the right hand crank and getting it all cross threaded. Now when it comes to fitting the pedals, just have a quick look onto the pedal axle itself and you'll usually find that you can have an L or an R stamped into that pedal axle somewhere. It could be on the face of the pedal or it could be on the back of the axle too or even if you haven't got any markings on there, sometimes you might have a little groove on the pedal axle itself, and now this denotes the left-hand pedal. Or if you haven't got that, look at the chamfer of the pedal too. This can often tell you which side of the bike that that pedal is designed to go on. Or if you're buying brand new pedals, now these often come labeled up as left and right, so there's no confusion that way. Okay, so let's take a look at removing these flat pedals and replacing them with some clip pedals ready for some cross-country miles. So to remove the pedals, the easiest way that I find is to straddle the bike and drop your crank down to the lowest position possible. That way it's just gonna give you a load of clearance in there. And as we mentioned earlier, we're gonna need to turn that pedal's crank thread towards the back wheel. So I'm re removing my drive side pedal to get my Allen key in there. Got the saddle in my chest, supporting the bike. I'm pulling up hard on the crank and then doing that. And if your pedals are super tight, you definitely want to be supporting the other side crank with your hand. Definitely make sure you've got an Allen key that's up to the job. The longer, the better here, especially if that's tight. The more leverage you can get, the better. And if a normal Allen key doesn't suffice, you might even have to extend that maybe with a bar over it. The more leverage, the better, especially on those stiffer cranks. But this one's coming out nice and easy. So I'm just turning that thread towards the rear wheel. And all I'm going to do is repeat that process on the other side. Right, that's the drive side pedal removed. Now I'm gonna move on to my left hand crank. Now this is where things go opposite. So this is a left hand thread. Again, I'm gonna move that crank to the lowest position and we're gonna be pulling up towards the rear wheel. So, oh, a bit tighter that one. Let's loosen that off nice. And then I'm just gonna be turning that anti-clockwise and doing that uh, left hand pedal super easy. Right, so the old pedals are off of my bike. Now, before I go sticking the fresh ones on, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of cleaning up on the thread, just making sure there's no bits of grit or horrible nastiness in here, just by using a bit of blue cloth, cleaning that thread out, just make sure it's all ready to go. And then we're gonna be sorting these pedals out. Now, before I fit my pedals to my bike, I've had a good look at the markings on the axle and I've got an L and an R. So I'm fitting the left-hand pedal first, so I'm gonna get rid of that right-hand pedal out of the equation. Now, before I fit this, I'm gonna apply grease to the thread. This is gonna enable me to thread that pedal into the crank easier and obviously aid that removal process as and when I need it. Now, if you did have any washers between your pedal and your crank, you need to fit these before you put those pedals onto your bike. So I've applied the grease to the pedal thread, and now it's time to get it into the crank. Now, I'm not gonna be putting an Allen key straight away on this. I'm just gonna use my fingers to do those initial th uh, few threads, because if I did get cross-threaded, it's gonna be a lot easier to feel with my fingers than it is with a tool. So I'm just doing this up 
towards the front of the bike. Just finished tightening that up with my fingers. Now it's time to get the Allen key in there and just do those final few bits of tension. Now you don't need to go crazy when doing pedals up. Loads of people go swinging on them to get them super tight, but in reality, you don't need to do them crazy tight. And again, with both of these pedals, you're gonna be tightening that thread towards the front of the bike. So no matter if you're on the drive side or the left-hand side of the bike, always be turning that thread towards the front of the bike to tighten it. And again, exactly that same process for the right-hand crank on this, just cleaning those threads out. All looks good to me. Apply some grease to the axle on this as we put this into the crank, get it lined up nice and square, turning that clockwise on this. Get those threads engaged. And there we go, a fresh set of clips ready to rock on the Husqvarna. So there you go, fitting and removing a set of pedals from your e-mountain bike can be super simple, but it can go catastrophically wrong if you were to fit that wrong pedal into the wrong side of your bike. Have you ever done it? Get involved in the comments box down below. Let us know all your horror stories. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to us here on EMBN. And whilst you're there subscribing, get into the EMBN shop. We've got so much kit in there. Jerseys, hoodies, t-shirts, socks, you name it. It's in there.